I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a few of these combos you're going to be seeing on the screen right now. And I'm going to break this advanced tutorial up into pieces because I'm not sure about y'all, but the best way I learn is to take it a step at a time. Everything you see in this clip right here, I will be showing you how to do in this video. This whole combo right here that you're seeing, including the moonwalk behind the back. So go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure y'all get the cigs and everything. Y'all see the hand cam top left. Get the cigs down. These are the cigs I'm currently using. This is my pure shot creator build. Now, the reason why I'm breaking this up into at least so this is the this is part one of the advanced tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you guys three combos that you need to know in order to do some of the moves that you see me do or see other YouTubers do because it's very important to have these simple moves down so that when I teach you guys how to do say for instance the half spin you're gonna know how to combo it because learning moves mean nothing if you don't know how to combo it so first move i'm gonna show you is that move right there the steezo roll and the steezo roll is very effective even on the comp stage i've done the steezo roll but it's it's a little bit tricky and i'm gonna show y'all while i show y'all how to do the move you can look top left you can slow it down i'm gonna slow it down for you if you pay attention you want a momentum and then you want to rotate your left stick clockwise. That's if you're momentuming from the left hand to the right side. So your momentum to the right side and then you're going to roll back the other way. Simple as that. It's going to be very tricky. I'm not going to lie. This one move right here took me at least, I say 30 minutes to perfect because you're going to get a sloppy animation at first until you figure out the right rolls the sweet spot when you're rolling all right because there's a sweet spot and you can slow the video down i've already slowed it down for you but this move is very effective you got so much combos you can do out of it all right time to show you how effective it is during the game now right here you're gonna see that i did it with a little space and i did some combos that i dropped in the tutorial last week let's slow it down again i hit the steezo roll as you can clearly see then I hit some of the combos I showed you in the last tutorial. And then I just did a quick shoot and greened it wide open. It's very effective if you chain these on real people because no. real people do not play on ball defense like computers. The computer right here is a, is a hall of famer. He wasn't biting for anything, but I was still able to trick him up with some of the moves I've already shown you how to do. But top left, you see, I rolled. Then I quickly flick down to the behind the back and then I did the big behind the back and I comboed out of it until I got the defender moving one way. Then I just shot it when I saw some space Hall of Fame quick draw with my pure shot creator. And like I said, these moves will take you a while to learn if you don't already know how to dribble. So don't be upset at yourself. It's all about repetition and just getting the timing down. I'm pretty sure you've heard that so many times. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the J-Dub half spin combo. That's why I'm calling it because that's what I first saw do it. All right. The J-Dub half spin combo. Now, this move is very effective, especially when y'all start doing the half spins. In it, you're going to see why this is very effective. Now, pay attention. Once I get the ball to my left hand, I rotate the right stick. Then I'm holding the left stick going left side the whole time then i do a crossover between the legs another crossover between the legs but quickly before it finishes that animation flick down on the right stick all while holding the left stick to the direction that you're running to and then while holding the left stick diagonally up flick down on the right stick and it'll make you do a behind the back and you'll be able to combo out of this with the half spins, all that stuff that I'm going to be showing y'all in the next tutorial, how to perfect the half spins, etc. Now, this move is fairly easy once you know the mechanics. Now, the controller is delayed, so just, just use your, your brain in a way and put it together. I did a half spin once the ball got to my left hand and I'm holding the left stick all the way to the direction I'm trying to go. Then I'm going up between the legs, then I'm going up between the legs again. Then I flick down before that animation completes while holding the left stick to the direction that you're running. And it'll make you do that move right there, which you can do so much combos out of. You're going to rotate the left stick diagonally up and flick down on the right on the left, on the right stick. And it'll make you do it behind the back. Then you just do a hezzy and shoot it. 
And like I said, this is gonna take some practice for those that already don't know how to do half spins and behind the backs and crossover behind the backs. Like I said, I didn't learn this in just two minutes, all right? It took me a little while. It took me at least 20, 20 minutes to do some of these combos when I did it for the first time. Now here's me comboing the Steezo roll with the move I just showed you. All right, man, we're taking it to the block top real quick and showing how it look on a defender. Now you see how it just canceled my animation. You have to scoot back a little bit so that you can get the moves chained because this year, when a defender is too close, 2K will make them cancel your dribble animation, all right? And I don't like that, but it is what it is. Now you see right here, it, everything I'm, I'm doing, I showed you already. Do the behind the back off of it. I already slowed it down, no frame chopping. Slow it down on YouTube if you want. Even more and just keep rewinding it and keep practicing. You're gonna get it down. Like I said, rotate your right stick clockwise since you're starting off with the left hand. Hold the left stick to the direction you're trying to run to. Then do the between the legs and the crossover behind the back. Behind the back again, hit a hezzy, boom, shoot it. Look at all that space. With all the same quick draw, you're gonna be able to get this off every single time. Now, to show y'all the moonwalk, y'all gotta know how to do this move right here so that you can do moonwalk behind the back, which is this move right here, which is good on any game mode. All right, moonwalk behind the back. You see that? It's a glitchy move, man. Especially when you have a lockdown on you, sometimes they won't be expecting that. The ball is in my right hand. I cross over to the left. Then I hold R2. And then I hold the left stick to the diagonally down right. Pay attention. I hold the left stick diagonally down right. Then I rotate it back up to the left. The reason I'm having you rotate it is because in order to do the behind the back, you got to quickly go back up to the left side after you hold it down. Like right here, you see? Once my my player body does a half spin, I rotate my left stick back up. And that sets me up to get the moonwalk boost off of it. And I'm holding R2 the whole time until I do the behind the back. You see that? Because if you hold R2 while you're doing the behind the back, you're, you're gonna end up doing a step back, which you don't want. Which some, it's, it's good if you got play, playmaking takeover, because you'll snap their ankles sometimes. So boom, I did a crossover. I'll hold R2, hold the left stick till he spins. Then rotate it back up and flick down, releasing R2, and it'll make you do that move. And this is it in game. Slow it down, slow the video down. If you can't understand the way I explain it, I apologize. But that's why the hand cam is there. Cause if I could just get it, to get y'all to learn it, <laughs> just by explaining it, we, we, we wouldn't be here, right? <laughs> now, you see, I'm holding R2 the whole time. I rotate it up, let go of R2, flick down on the right stick, and it'll make you do that. And now, now I do the crossover behind the back. Basically the same move that you see, see me use in the J-Dub half spin tutorial I just taught you. Now, once again, you wrote, you want your player to do a half spin. You want to just practice and going between the legs and then holding the left stick while holding R2 down diagonally the opposite direction. All right, now here's all the combos in one. This is all the combos I just taught you. Literally, you can out, be out here going crazy with these combos, man. Once again, once again, pay attention. I slowed it down for you. You got the Steezo roll. Look at the hand cam. All right, the hand cam is there. Then I do a behind the back. Then between the legs, half spin into the J-Dub half spin combo. Then once the J-Dub half spin combo is completed, you got two options. You can shoot it right here, which the defender probably will be expecting, or you could have did the half spin but we keep it moving into the moonwalk tutorial i just taught you i do the moonwalk pay attention moonwalk glitchy man and then they'll cross over between the legs and boom you got a shot now here's a clip of me doing a little bit more advanced of the moonwalk you did a between the legs out of the moonwalk then you do the crossover that i just taught you to j-dub behind the back and i get a slam with my pure shot credit <laughs> now the reason i taught you guys these combos because you see the half spins i just did you guys need to know how to combo with the half spin and i will be teaching you guys the half spin next tutorial get this video to 1000 likes i know the drill i'm not asking for less but i'm not asking for more either you help me and i help you simple math do your math and go to school and i don't know the thing already big up on yourself gvo and i don't know all the thing go
Big up to the Lord Almighty. Blood on candle, not not all. Yardman gaming gone.